Well, hello, folks, and welcome to the third instalment of Harvester. And what a, a crazy wild time it's been now, isn't it? Um, that's probably putting it lightly. Yeah, yeah um, just, just a tad, just a tad. So now we are up to the point now where we have to scratch, what's it, Jackson? Old man Jackson? Johnson, I think. Old man Johnson, Johnson, the creepy gentleman. We made it to the lodge, but the, um, the creepy monk guy asked us to... Perform some pranks, and I thought he, he, would he calls something. them pranks. He calls them pranks, but uh, they're probably going to to us. Yeah, I think is vandalism gonna... a prank? Criminal damage. Depends who finds it funny. I can't imagine Mister Johnson's going to find it funny when we scratch his. Uh, and he's a big dude. Classic well. car, but um, so I'm actually quite scared of him. Um, yeah. Oh, and we met our girlfriend. Oh, we found yeah, we found our wife, fiance, future actually, wife, yeah, uh, yeah. and she also had amnesia. Yes, so yeah. she's also uncomfortable with the surroundings. Yeah, she's she doesn't quite know what's going also, on. Also, there's, there's something going on, and only these two are privy to. Yeah, the uh, now the outside the, world. And now the sort of mini game treasure hunt aspect of the game is actually kicking in gear now. Yeah, so we uh, we played for a little bit yesterday. We got a bit yeah. lost. Um, I had issues yeah. trying to open a door with a key, um, which I did look online, yeah. and uh, I believe it is a bug. Um, so okay. it wasn't just me being mad. Um, but right. a few forums they suggested that was it a bug on purpose? Like, did the game no. designers is that a thing? No, it's just in a, game talk. It's a bug. <laughs> it's, um, so a few people suggested that um, you are supposed to be able to use it at this point in the game, but it is a known bug. But apparently, um, you can also use it later. So we'll okay. we'll park that for now. Uh, I think um, we'll get started. Let's uh, do this. Let's so rock think, and roll. So obviously we know what we got in our inventory. So we know we've got. So we found a shovel, uh, which we tried to. We found oh, it yes. at the newspaper building, um, and it was in a pile of ashes. Yeah, um, that's right. We probably should have tried digging through those ashes. I didn't. That's just occurred to me. Ah, because we took it straight to the graveyard. Yeah, we took it. I think I uh, jumped the gun a bit, and assumed because we found some fresh graves in the graveyard slash hotel. Yeah, that's right. Fresh dirt, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, whereas we didn't actually try to use it where we found it, which probably would have made more sense. So let's go and give that a crack. Um, please work, please work. Damn it. Damn it, no, maybe. Oh, oh, it did work. Buried in the ash debris, you spot a few hidden remnants. Okay. Ooh, what have we got? Something useful, I hope. Oh, bake. a bake sale flyer. <laughs> no, someone wasn't too pleased with the bake sale. Oh, what's that? A postal worker's button, and it looks like it was ripped from the cloth. So I'm assuming when we go and give that back to the postmaster, we'll we'll see what he hmm. wants with it. Um, you might tell us whose it was. Yeah, we can. He doesn't like he's got a lot of staff, so uh, I can't imagine unless it's his <laughs> own. Uh, hmm. He burned down the thing, didn't it? So it's more evidence. We the postmaster the burned down maybe. the building. So yeah, there we go. Hang on a sec. That's new. That wasn't there before. Yeah, I, I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, there was a there was a cup, wasn't there? And I can examine that. A manhole key is a manhole key. There's a manhole cover at Mr. Johnson's house next to his car. So So we take the key, open the manhole, he falls down the manhole. But, um it's a good logic. But My theory is death. we wait until night. We go in the manhole. Hide, wait until night, because he says he watches his car in the day. So maybe when hmm. we hide under there, and then at night time. But surely we could just go over and scratch the car at night, without hiding at night. Oh, true. Mm, this is a tough one. Well, um, we'll come back to that. Let's give him his button back first and see. Uh, My button? Why, I lost that months ago. Where did, did you find it? Mm. Funny thing, that. I found it in the ashes, at the newspaper building. What are you implying? That I had something to do with setting the fire? Preposterous. Why, a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire. But none of them had buttons like this. Cut the crap. We both know you set that on fire. Yeah, we'll go bad cop. Yeah. Cut the crap. And what if I did? I guess I'd be pretty grateful to anyone who could help get me off the hook. How? You seem like a capable lad. 
Hypothetically, let's say there was a gas can sitting in the evidence room at the sheriff's office. We've already a given it to him. A gas can which might have some incriminating prints on Has it. Has he got amnesia? Someone might <laughs> Probably. be grateful for the return of that gas can. So... Say grateful enough to provide whoever returned it with a large application. Don't need or make oh, and got one. Steve. So... You'll keep this to yourself. If you're smart. I have very limited experience in, in video game programming. What it looks like is the developers forgot to say things like, if he's already got the gas can, maybe not ask for it again. Yeah. We've already got a large equation. <laughs> so I'm assuming that would have been an alternate route because just to recap from my last episode, we um, gave the... Um, Sheriff, not the sheriff, the deputy, a porn mag. So he was distracted. Oh. We broke into the sheriff's drawer, stole his checkbook, and there was a note from the postmaster. Um, and then we we found the key. We broke into the evidence locker and got the gas can back. And that's how we got the the lodge application. So let's go and investigate the uh, this manhole key. Right, it says it's stuck. We need something to lube it up or... The shovel? I could try using... <laughs> dig it up. Dig it out of the ground with a shovel. Okay. Don't patronise me, Steve. We're trying, okay? Steve, I'm starting to hear you now. Right. We've got the burnt fly okay. for the... Okay. Oh, don't okay me. Oh, you got to get out of jail free card as well. Mm. Um, After we got murdered... We got put to the electric chair for th blackmail, which seems yeah, and, excessive. And Steve's mother was here watching him. Yeah. If you remember, that was Not quite... protesting, or, I don't know. In fact, she was smiling. Yeah, she wasn't even sad. Um, oh, and we saw Wasp Woman. Yes, as well. that your, your favourite character, the Wasp Woman. Best, best woman ever. Um, hmm. Quite a normal down-to-earth woman as well. Yeah, we went and spoke to Stephanie, didn't we? Um... And she she kind of suggested going back to the lodge. Does she know anything about lubing up manhole keys? So the euphemism, Mal. No Steve, comment. I'm so glad you came back. What have you been doing? I visited the lodge. Oh we had, yeah, we had. I've decided to join that place. Oh yeah, we've had this whole conversation with her. I hope. Just leave, Steve. Yeah. Walk away. You, you can definitely sick. tell. Um, that this is an old game because it's um there are flaws. some kind of flaws in the programming like flaws is a bloody building right. did we check the bathroom i don't think we found anything did we some weird picture <coughs> she's pretty oh yeah we saw that one what about the like the mirror cabinet oh i had a look oh hang on it's coming up with a thing now oh so yeah we completely missed this um, one hour oh, cough, cough medicine. medicine. So I've just picked up some lube, so we can try the lube on the uh, the manhole key. Maybe oh. that'll help. Um, got a headache. This What's she doing with lube trick. in the blooming bathroom? Dirty woman. It was the nineties. Yeast in di yeast disinfectant piece. not to be used for baking cookies. <sighs> Steve's mother oh. definitely used that. Some tampons. They're not. Are they actually ours? Yeah. We, we picked them up, so we might Ooh. have to use them for something. Zippy vitamins. Bloody nose. Um, I can't pick that up. Uh, tube of toothpaste, which I can't pick up. What's that down there? Dental. 300 yards of dental floss, which I also can't pick up. And there's some plasters or band-aids. Band-aids. At the bottom of it. And you can't pick them up either? No, it's not letting me. Um, hmm. It's kind of weird, like, he knows exactly what he'll need. So he'll pick them up. Um, so it also said the uh, the poster was a... Oh! Is this going to get us banned off YouTube? Mm. Ah, oh, she's getting dressed, it's fine. It's like the reversal of what we wanted Reverse. to happen. And Steve, bless him. <laughs> it's his fiance. just go and ask. Right, so we've got some lube, so let's go and lube up the manhole cover. So I definitely feel that since we've slept and had the fresh yeah. minds, 
Where's the door gone? Did we click on that frame of him eating steak or someone eating steak? No. The man of the house squeezing his meat. That is... Oh. That's an A plus And then there's euphemism. lube. What's going on now? Oh, lube there, and up a man all covered as well? Oh, God. Yeah, it's... Uh, can't be any worse than the firefighters that we met. My God, I forgot about them. Yeah, pro- probably best to. It's a little bit insensitive. So, oh, it's the post post office we need to go to, isn't it? Um, let's try Aura Lube. Ah, oh, there nice. we go. Let's pick it up. A slimy manhole key. Stop complaining. Pick it up. Why don't you pick it up? Damn, damn it! Oh. I picked it up. So there was. Let's go to Mr. Johnson's house and oh, oh, it's night. I see. I think we were supposed to pick this up and then that moves the the in in game time forward. It got dark quick. Mind you the. God's probably been looking down, going, find the bloody manhole key so we can yeah. move tonight. Um, <laughs> Let's move this a long way. So, uh, where are we going? Mr. Johnson's. Is this obviously the Johnson residence. Yes. yes. Oh, his so, car's gone now. He's at the diner. Can we break? Maybe we can break into the garage underneath. Small passageway leads into the sewers. Right. Coat of moisture has fallen along the surface of the wheel valve. Can I move it? Can I? What's it for? Do you think this could Four lead us grade? to the lodge? Probably not to the lodge. I'm thinking to the. Uh, oh, there's a corroded wall there. Can I use shovel? the man shovel? Yeah, I try the shovel. I was going to say the manhole key. But... Oh, there we go. Scroll through here. Oh. So mm. we're underground somewhere. A very lovely pathway. Yeah, it's, it's good lighting as well in there. Yeah, it's very well lit. In emergency access. Oh, ah, yeah, we're underneath the garage. Um, the green slime that was coming out of the, the lodge pipe. What about it? So when we were talking to the monk. Yeah, there was green slime. There was green slime, and they look like canisters of green slime to me. It's oil. And that wax. is completely <laughs> not what I was thinking of. You've, you, you are, you've got to try and combine things. Mm. There is a logic. Oh, well, there's the car. Right, how do yes. we scratch it? Let's use the key. Let's key the car. There we go. That did not look like a key. Not like a screwdriver. Have I done that thing again where we've jumped ahead? Right. Was I supposed to use the pitchfork? Probably a bit overkill, isn't it? Is there anything around here we can steal? It's all a tool bench. Oh. Big hammer. Oh, gas. Can't pick up the hammer. Torch. Got batteries missing. Oh, screwdriver. We were supposed to use the screwdriver, weren't we? Yeah. The key worked. Everyone's doing it with keys nowadays, anyway. Yeah. This gas can is similar model to the Postmaster's gas can. Hmm. Etched on the side of the blowtorch reads, thinking of you, Edna. You're going to burn the diner down? I think that's what he had planned, you know. Guy's a psycho. I love that he has several license plates. Of the make of car that he owns. And he's got a... odd fellow. The faded poster is a 1948 Sexiest Tomboy Award. Oh, go on, let's have a little look. Let's have a look what they look like in the 40s. Yeah, that's as much (laughs) much as the viewers I'm getting. That was quite explicit. Um, Those five pixels there. How do I exit this screen? Oh, the big exit thing. Oh, I, I thought that was a number plate. I was, <laughs> That's not a window. Um, right. We've, well, we've scratched the car, so let's go back to the lodge. Uh, with our new screwdriver. <laughs> I love the way he walks. Just it's a very kind of dopey walk. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Homer Simpson walks. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go and scratch a car now. <laughs> go back and talk to a monk. Right. We've, we've scratched the car. So, where's the lodge? Let's go tell him. And he'll go, You've scratched the car. So, you have completed your first task. Yeah. Now that you've scratched the tucker, you can proceed <laughs> to your second task. 
You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. A bolt of fabric? Doesn't that... Oh, it doesn't sound so bad. I'll do it. I see. They're the largest compromised of thieves. Oh, yeah, a second. Second. Yeah. The human mind always seeks to categorize phenomena to pigeonhole and therefore feel that it exerts control over an unfathomable universe. A feeling, however, is not a fact. Whatever you may think of the order is only speculation. A realization which should give you scant comfort considering that even memory is illusory. A chemical imprint on meat that, like what it is writ upon, must one day decay. If you're interested in reviving the decaying corpse that is your memory, it ruined me back. The only answer for you is here, Stephen. Don't forget that. It feels like he had that speech rehearsed and he was just waiting yeah. for someone to push his buttons just like, so he could unload on him. He's actually covering the script. Your mind is decaying. No one says you're a thief. You're asking me to steal from some fireman. <laughs> a bolt of fabric. What's a bolt of fabric? Like a, a ream? Yeah. They have to like a uniform or something. It's... This game's got. I'm learning a new language now. Taking his shirt what off. What was it? Again. Fu funerary? That was yeah, the other um, word. Funerary. Yeah, fun funerary. Which I, I, I kind of know what it means, but as a word, it's really weird and I've never heard it before. So, so we have the exact oh. same nightmare and the exact same shot of Steve getting undressed. Is that Steve or is that a woman? It looks like uh, Glenn Danzig from Misfits. I, I was going to say Ozzy Osbourne, me. Also that. Oh, it's a lovely burger. I need a burger. Oh, Stop. he's missing out. That's not good. He wakes up every day the same. Surely he's used to it right now. You think... <laughs> After meeting the whole town, and by day three, he's probably a bit like, oh, cool, nine to five, let's go and steal yeah, some cloth. But what I'm thinking about now is, if he's got amnesia, how come he remembers the same dreams? Don't know. Uh, that was, Very deep that was, folks. Yes, it was a bit. Right. Oh, I'll see him again. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it, because it's a new day. Yeah. So if anything happens and we die... Um, so I'll just put um New Day, yes it is. So a wrestling reference in there. See what what I've replaced in coming up with stupid ideas for save game names is actually coming to progressing through the game and actually yeah. not wandering around the village for months. <laughs> yeah. Um for example, Cameron. Fine bone china gleams from the mahogany shelves. Oh, cool. Right, so we'll pick up a paper. We have to put the paper every day for uh, JJ, don't we? Because otherwise he'll probably shoot us. You know, he always tried to shoot us once because I punched him. He was provoked. See you later, me. alligator. I mean, Why see has you he later. got a gun in the first right. place? Let's give him, give him the paper. Give him happy. There now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. Now let's keep him that way. Don't tell me what to do, JJ. Yeah, so... Keep him up. Maybe he'll give us the gun in the end. I don't know. Um, to shoot the monk. So, let's go to the fire station. We need to scope it out first. Mm, yeah. Like, where is the um, bolt of fabric that we need to steal? Oh. I'm about now. Hi, so Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. You got cleaning to do yesterday, weren't you? Right, Al. Yes. It is a dog, and it was very vicious. I Should we go back to the butchers to get some meat? Go to the dog. That's a very good point because mm. if we have to break in and the dog's on guard. Yeah. Very good point. Let's go to the butchers and get some meat. I thought there was something on the floor then. It's just that bloody cursor. <laughs> like, oh, we got something. Ah. Remember on the first playthrough when you thought that when it becomes a small man and it 
indicates to the player, you can walk here, you thought it was a small clone. I thought it was a small Steve. Um, right, let's go to the meat plant. We've not really been to the meat plant much. And our mother, apparently this is where we're supposed to work. We met the owner. I'll just apparently go to the our dad's a co-owner. Center, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Can't talk now, Steve. I've got to hose out some entrails. Lucky man. Meat. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cuts. <laughs> Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance it of showing us that shot while mm. cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. Didn't make that up, if we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? So the lodge is in cahoots. Yeah. Right. Oh, we can ask him. Can I have some meat, please? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, Ooh. I'll give you the meat. So we're gonna Ooh. need to break into. Dad's locked away in his bedroom. Yeah. So. Costs large dad's illness amnesia. He doesn't know about dads. So yeah, we does he? Um, Cutting costs. Yeah. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things, if you're creative. Okay, so, did he give us the permission slip? Don't be such a stranger, Steve, and my best to your dad. What's that? Yeah, meat permission slip. Official meat release form, section A. <laughs> Notice, under no circumstances are any parties not mentioned in this release as the recipients to receive any harvest meat incorporated products. I, employee signature, do hereby give my full permission to the recipient to receive a grade 3 product from harvest meat. It's a very serious meat trade. Yeah. I love how many sections and how many laws are there in, in meat copyright laws. My goodness. Um, so... We're gonna need meat for the dog. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. a given because it showed us when the fireman was painting. He threw, threw meat to the dog meat, yeah. that was barking. So, how do we get break dad out or break in to get the? We've got a gas canister, haven't we? No, we gave it to the postmaster. Uh, sorry, in um... is that dad's window with Phillips head screws? What have we just picked up from the garage? Ready screwdriver. We're flying through this now. This, this will be the last episode, we're just going to finish the yeah. gaming one. Oh. Like most security devices, there's usually more than one trap to stop intruders. Well, maybe two episodes. Oh, no. I've got to get our jail free card. Brilliant. So confident in that as well. But maybe this. this okay, is... Steve. Consider your get out of jail free card used. You're free to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he took? What? <laughs> now. <laughs> Pardon me. I've never been arrested. Um, I sat in the back of a police car as a kid for like a school day. I've never been tucked in by an officer of the law. And I think maybe with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, maybe that's the kind of law enforcement we need. A bit more of a care in hand. Make sure people get home safe. Yeah, it, it depends what Bucky's going to read to me though at night. I like, yeah, I'd hope a bedtime story includes. Right. What did we just watch? So, there's obviously a security system somewhere. Hmm. Because I think if, we, if I try and do that again, I think I'll just get arrested and probably put in an electric chair. So. At the creepy guy's garage, hmm. there was another gas canister. Have you got to set something on fire so the police officers can, uh, police, uh, the firemen can leave? Give meat to the dog and then steal a bit of fabric. 
I think you're on the right lines. Um, let's yeah, let's go double check his garage because we were only in like briefly. Yeah, I think I may have well, missed. Well, so much car, we have to get in and get out. Yeah. Um. Oh, you. I could just left the door open yeah. for us. And I suppose the car's out front, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, what have we got? Oh, we got a dolly. Dolly might be useful after the wedding. Okay, she thinks what you, or something. What are you trying to say? <laughs> she will be walking in them. Oh, I can pick it up. Cool. We'll have to find a use mm. for that. Um, can we wheel Dad out of the house like Hannibal Lecter? Oh. Maybe. We've got a broom. Oh. So obviously there was that gas canister, uh, and they did. The, uh, oh, I can, I can pick up the pitch. I tried to before; it wouldn't let me. Um, so the trouble with this game is got to be very kind of pixel perfect when you're picking stuff up because it doesn't seem to want to let you um, if you just click in a general sense. We'll just double check the tool bench. So much the oh, so he's not letting me pick that up. Right, so we know. I'm assuming we have. He's gonna set the diner. Maybe we set the diner on fire, or we get him we get to him set the diner on fire to distract him. Um. Flashlight's missing batteries. We should probably pick it up anyway in case we find some batteries. But um, yeah, we know about the pervy tomboy poster. Right, so we picked up the dolly. Anything in the bags? No. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, oh we've gone. There must be something in the house, like a secret room, or was there anything in the kitchen? A security? Because I've. If, if I try and take the bars off, we're going to get arrested again, and I don't have a get out of jail free card, so we're going to die. Let's go back to the house. Mm. Oh, hang on. What have you seen? It's a light glow there on the cabinet. You see it? Oh, Just... yeah. Can I use the dolly to push that out of the way? Is a furniture okay. dolly. Okay. Well yes. spotted. Huh? That definitely wasn't there before, so it must only trigger when you pick up certain things. Oh, very right. good. Right. Turn off the alarm. Let's go break Dad out. I'm telling you, flying through this today. Where's my screwdriver? There's my screwdriver. Oh, this is better than I. Oh, that's cool. well, that bloody hell! Don't mess around. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> hulked it off the. Oh, Dad! All oh, right. Is that oh, no? That's a sex toy. What? Hmm. Now. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Exotic kinky love equipment. No, leave that there. If any of it turns up missing. Marv, what's going on in there? Oh, they said his dad was sick. Go! Get out, get out, get out. No. Right. We'll save it. Ah, uh, no, not, not game two. Can, can we just talk about uh, his dad's sort of sex dungeon? Um. Uh, that was let's a bit... not talk about sex, baby. Um, well, he has a full-size um, portrait of what was the front cover of the, the porn, porn magazine that we gave to the, the officer. Um, I hope that's not mum. This photograph oh, is a constant torture for poor old dad. She's just a topless woman. I do love the fact that uh, that's obviously a real arse, so I like to think that when they were creating this game and they were testing out obviously all the blue screens and the CGI, is one of the producers went, you know what would be a laugh? We're going to put my arse in the game. Because <laughs> that's definitely that? what I would do if I was producing a game like this. Let's get my girlfriend in as well. Come on, that, that's yeah. definitely the producer's it's girlfriend. Love it's for a game. You have to take part. That's not a right. statue on the floor. That's right, that's not a sex toy. No. That's the stocks. That oh, right. Marv, what's going on in there? So she gets a look. So maybe we should just talk to him. Yeah, let's not. Go. Go. Does anything happen if she actually comes in? Nah. No. I was talking. Oh. Ah. Right, so, so like any play. noise, is, she gets triggered. Why can't oh, we talk to Dad? Steve. Is that you? 
Come to see your poor old dad. Are you my father? Really? I don't remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. You Why always were a kidder, Steve. Me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just seven? don't make me laugh now. It is seven. seven. Remember the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? Does she? She knows I'll live here. No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that special father-son talk. Especially now that you're getting married. I don't think Stephanie is going to be into any of this. Do you know what? Out of morbid curiosity, can we say I'd, I'd like, like that? that. Okay. <laughs> then listen. I can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. What does that mean? Tracheotomy is when you have a when pipe a put in your throat. Love each other very much. Smoking. Uh, it can be for smoking. Go into a room alone. Like throat surgery. Okay. And shut the door. Trachea. Trachea. And bolt it with at least three locks. And prop a chair under the doorknob. <laughs> so no one can get in. Or out. Then they take off their clothes. And get out. A wide variety of scalpels. Some curved. Some short. All of them sharp. And then the man climbs on the woman. And then they... With the barbed wire, they... It's all right. <laughs> they go... <laughs> you need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. I need some meat. Pat won't give me any without Don't say that. No. <laughs> Good old dependable Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Now, I never really had a proper talk with my parents. And it certainly didn't go anything like that. What would you have done if it did? Um... I would have never spoken to another girl again. I, another human again. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm <laughs> wow. Right, I... so we, we've got the signed meat slip. <laughs> Let's... Uh... Poor dad. He's, he's probably there in mass amounts of pain, bleeding. He's had a tracheo tracheotomy, so... I want to know what they did with the barbed wire. I thought he just had a nasty cough. That as well. Um, on top of all the what other things. Nasty, um, let's go back nasty, to the meat plant. Disgusting. Oh. Right, let's uh, give him the iron so, slip. Your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? No, don't ask. That psychotic bitch has sliced him to ribbons. That mm. one. Yeah, he's got to be, yeah. Glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new shipment of animals has come in, and it's time to start cutting. Glad to hear it. Wow. Right. Have we got the meat? We got a chunk of meat. All right, okay. Oh, we should have given Dad some cough medicine. I just think like that's a bit like... Rubbing it in a bit. Probably needs a little bit more than some cough medicine and some aspirin. But he wasn't coughing when he spoke to us, though. Yeah, true. Um, Right, so... Let's... So we've got the meat. So your theory... And I think you're on the money. Um, We need to cause a fire. Yeah to get the firemen out of the fire station and then we sneak in give the dog some meat to shut him up and steal, steal. I didn't actually see any cloth there or is it one of those where now we'll see some cloth there when we go yeah because we didn't see that uh, switch behind the uh, yeah, cupboard um, yeah it was definitely it was quite noticeable when we walked in so I would have noticed earlier I, I didn't get it mate he is sat on a a cloth table is it that um, we talked to them, and they... Hello, Steve. Lovely day, isn't it? Still sketching the same nude man, I see. 
It doesn't behoove one to be fickle. Besides, once you find a perfect model, he said this. you don't let him yeah. go. And it is painting looks like an ankle. Bye -bye. I think it's supposed yeah. to be like a thigh, but it looks like an ankle. Um, so... You see, there was a fire alarm at the school, but when I tried to press it, it said that he'd not hooked it up. What, maybe because the days change, maybe that we can try that now? Or maybe if you go back to the school, something new appears. Yeah. Let's go back to the school, because there was definitely a fire alarm there, and it said that, that um, Sparky, whatever his name was, had left a note to say he hadn't got around to hooking it up yet, so maybe... Well, they're still in the closet. I just want to try. I'm, I'm determined to get in this bloody broom cupboard. Principal Herald motions you away from the door. See, it didn't do that yesterday. It just, it just kept shouting at me. Oh, and the key is stuck in the, stuck in the wall. Okay. A glass protective fire alarm. Oh. Yes. So we're flying through this. I'm telling you, half an hour before we'll be on. What's the speed run world record? I think it's 15 minutes. 15, right? 20 minutes or something. We're going to smash it. Right, let's quickly go over to the fire station. Let's save it before we go in in case yeah. I fuck up giving the meat to I the dog. I think it's a dog tears us to shreds yeah. or something. Let's meet, doggy. Okay. <laughs> right, why can't I go into the fire? Oh, can I go through here? Is that a hammer? Can I? There's a ladder. Oh, oh. oh I picked a ladder up. Do I you What would the ladder be for then? Can I do a break in? Oh I've got a fight oh I've got an axe as well. Can I use the axe to break down the door? Well that didn't okay. work. Okay. Nope. Um can I use the ladder to break in? And you can't go through the door? No, the door's locked. Um must be able to use the ladder on something on the fence. Well that didn't nope. work. On there must be somewhere I can Damn it. The ladder. Damn it. Oh man. No. Okay. The wall. Well that didn't oh, work. Man. Well, okay. well, that, well that didn't work. Well, that didn't oh, work. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Man. Click everywhere. Oh, man. Well that didn't oh, work. Man. Oh, well that didn't oh, work. Too many voices oh, in my head. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. What's... Can we not cut through there anywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Just what I hate about this game is we're doing so well, and then I feel as if it's it's too easy. Yeah. As if they knew. Oh, this is really. Well, we found the ladder, so we must have to. I don't think you would find something that easy on the same. Yeah. Like, true. The same scene. Hmm. Where else could we put a ladder? Because it'd have to be around the fire station. I, for some reason, I got a feeling the ladder would be used after. Yeah. And maybe to jump over the fence and the missile. Uh, the missile uh, launch. I'll just check it's not another bug where it won't let us into the fire station. Oh, when we walk away, it becomes nightfall. Do we have to wait till it's night and then go back? Maybe we need the ladder first. And... There's some shoddy programming in this, isn't there? But I think it's all part of it, though. Yeah, so we'll go back to the fire station. Yeah, there we go. And now we can just go through the doors. <laughs> so, <laughs> after all that... Ah, the cloth, right. Right, dog's barking, so let's quickly give him some meat. And then let's pick up... Oh! Do you just... Yeah, talk to the model. Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here? All the time? I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You'd do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Yes. Good. You may survive yet. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. 
Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object dart, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light invoked is light shed. Darkness gives as darkness gets. The lights are too high up to reach, but I have a ladder. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't. Oh, there's a ladder on the okay. wall. Okay. Oh, Steve, look, come on. Well, that didn't work. All right. Oh. What did that say about the ladder then? Can I use the ladder on the mural? Well, that didn't work. Oh man. All right. All right, I did get it. Using the ladder, you climb and retrieve a piece of cloth in the wall light. Yeah. So I should now have a. Oh, mauve cloth there. Oh. Sweet. A piece of wood. Cool. Let's go back to the lodge. I think we're warmed up now. Yeah. I think we're. Uh, Juices are flowing now. We're in the. The mind space that you need to be in with games like this. Oh, this guy it always gets me. I love. It. I just love how he stands. That robe is far too big, sir. Yeah. Checking his server to like, so you know, it's too big. Yeah. <laughs> me be. Sir, do you know it's night time? I didn't. <laughs> we have cameras. You don't need to stay out here all night. We go, Steve. We know you've been working out. We get it. I like to think that the actor was, oh yeah, so we're going to shoot some <laughs> shots of you getting to bed, and he's like, oh, so should we shoot this? And they're like, um, no, no, it's... Well, we, we're just going to have you get into bed, and he's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll be shirtless, this is fine. Like, yeah. I don't mind. I'm like, well, if you insist. I'm going to do that again. My, my nipples weren't showing me. Oh. Uh, Steve, we're going to have to go again. Uh, you were flexing. Doesn't really fit the character. So that's how I get into bed. <laughs> Steve's a strange man. Is an odd man. It's, it's agreed. You know when he finally gets married and wakes up next to Stephanie, she's gonna get so pissed off because every morning he's got. She'll be the same. Yeah, they wake up, do it together, then high five. See, that's why they. When perfect. you find the one, you find the one. Righty ho. Um, so back to the lodge. Back to the lodge. That's the closet. That's not the way to the lodge. I think we should, should we probably check on Dad. We? We'll come back to Dad. Yeah, we'll give him the cough medicine. He'd understand. Stay Hold here, the Dad. paper. We don't want to upset the little mm. child. Hello, Jimmy. See you later. Not even said hello. Here's your paper, you grievous little shit. <laughs> there now. See how easy. Yep. You threaten oh. me and I'll kick your teeth. I hope he's like the last boss as to what we get to like shoot him. He turns into like a big huge Jimmy. <laughs> An ultra Made Jimmy. Paper. Right, let's talk. Thank you. You're gonna wear this one. Should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. I knew we'd have to steal it. Um. Thinking of opening a salon, Sarge? Yeah, see. Yeah. Lack of respect oh. for authority. That was, that was all Alex. Huh? A fine trait for a member of the order. Mm. Yes, I am my nose, Tim. I hope you succeed in your task. Oh, Break right. into the shop, steal the barber's pole, and bring it back to me. At that point, I shall give you your final task. Does every person who gets initiated into the lodge have to go through these exact same tasks? Yeah, so like his car, he's like, oh, for he's like, I've God just sake. got this buffed out, and then the firemen are like, I keep buying these frigging cloths, <laughs> and then Mister Pastorelli is going to be like ignoring you and just sweeping up because he's just will not then, talk to anyone. And then the little one in the corner is like, How many poles has he gone through now? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Who would steal a pole? Apparently, everyone yeah. in the village. Right, let's go to the barber shop and let's. Because if I remember rightly, all the way back in episode one, um, it's 
rigged up to the fire alarm. Think about taking some of that siding. I don't want any bloody aluminium in your you, siding. The only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of peas, sissies. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. Too bad about Edna's daughter going missing. That was a strange night. I remember that evening. The Potsdam's upstairs bathroom toilet backed up. I've seen folks upset about that stuff. But Mr. Potsdam was just furious. Heck, they even got a downstairs bathroom. But when I told him it'd take most of the night to fix, he stormed out of the house. Some folks are hard to figure. Well, that was a, an information dump. So... Thanks, buddy. The, the firemen are upset. Yep. And this little guy is being unnecessarily homophobic towards him. Um, the, the little girl from the diner's been kidnapped or gone missing, and Mr. Potsdam, who is our soon-to-be father-in-law... Has got two toilets. That's what you took away from this conversation. Two toilets. Two toilets. Not the fact that he stormed out. So. I was like, look, right. I know you're a big guy and we that meat. I know why. In case he blocks one toilet, he can go downstairs, use the other one. Very sensible, actually. Right, why can't I leave this guy alone? Nice to see you again. Yeah, thanks for... You're actually very helpful. Um, I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. But you were the one who talked about losing now. ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating a work of art like that. Well, it's a sheer sign that civilization is Work coming to an end. It's car. I heard Edna's daughter up and disappeared Tuesday night. Yes, sir. Aliens got her for sure. All sorts of funny things went on that night. I seen three different UFOs over my fields. What's weird is they didn't carve anything. There was lights in the cemetery and Swell was busy that night too. Tell him about it, Pete. Uh... He don't want to hear about We don't need to hear about it, because we've seen Fargo yeah. Season 2. <laughs> so we don't need any more UFO nonsense, thanks. Steve. Right. Still gets me real, Al. Still gets me real, uh, right the it, it was Why? good. They just Why? didn't stick the landing. Um, right. Let's go to the diner and... Oh, Console a grieving. Yeah, we'll come back to... Bless you. Come back to that. Sit down. Um, where's... Take it easy. Dinner's... I like how they all call it the DNA Diner because the E went out on the sign. I think that's going to be a clue for something, though. Maybe. And he's still working. I can't stop and chat, Steve. With Karen gone, if I stop, I think I'll lose my mind. I've got to keep busy. Busy. Excuse me. Hey. I yeah. just heard that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. Sounds painful. You know, <sighs> though I don't like to think ill of people or take pleasure in the misfortunes of others. I'd like to think it's a comeuppance for all the times that nasty man has bothered me. I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't believe one of them stole that cloth from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely disgusting <laughs> behavior from no, whoever's no. done <laughs> both of those things. Or maybe it was unrelated people. Um, oh, what's that there? Can we use the... No. Oh. We still can't go behind the counter. Um, although we definitely must have to, because why would it that cog appear? Yeah, that's um, true. What, what? Oh, I thought by the um, yeah. by the dispenser of the drinks, I thought you could like. Let's uh, let's go to Mister Johnson and uh, taunt him about his knackered car. It's not knackered; it's got a scratch on it. Yeah, he's still guessing from A to B. Some bitch scratch my car. My Tucker, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks. If I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beef up the patrols, but what does he care about? Nobody cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll make them care. I'll make them care. Why couldn't they have scratched the hell out of that rickety fire truck instead of my Tucker? Those firemen are carrying on like the world is ending. 
just because someone stole some of their foo-foo cloth. Someone ought to tell them that the world already ended. I should know. I was there. Did you hear that Karen disappeared? <laughs> just goes to show you what can happen without a man's stewardship in the house. It takes both a man and a woman to raise a child properly. Says so in the Bible. But try to convince Edna of that? Oh, no. And now she's lost everything. Hmm. This might be a good time to drop in. While she's feeling... Vulnerable. Oh, eat up it. Um, I'm assuming that... Because obviously we did the, the fireman one quite quick. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that we would have spoke to him before that and then he would have cried about his car before the sudden oh my car's been oh by the way Edna from the diner a child's been kidnapped like <laughs> by now his eyes are haunting yeah right let's um let's go speak to Mr. Potsdam because uh, he apparently had issues with his toilet and then stormed off two toilets two, two toilets, toilets. So. did you say hello to your father for me yep Thank God for that, at least. He would want to see so, it. So, what's new, Steve? Edna's daughter yeah, Karen is missing. anyone do something so terrible to her? You think someone took her? I think? Oh, no, see, it was a kidnapping. Haven't you heard? The sheriff got a ransom note. Seems someone wants to dip into Edna's larder. Too bad such a sweet little thing has to suffer. He knows a lot. Yeah. Where were you Tuesday night, or what exactly happened? That was a way? terrible night. Our upstairs toilet backed up. Pete Swell came over and fixed it. My back's still sore from helping him carry his stuff up the stairs. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Don't well, change the Can subject. Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratched tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Those silly willies down at the fire station silly are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. They really hate the fire yeah. department, don't they? I suppose it is supposed to be set in the 50s, so. Um, he knows too much. So the fact that he said his back was hurting makes me think he carried a body. A body? Mm, good think. Maybe maybe we should go speak to the sheriff because apparently he had a ransom note. If it's got like meat stains over then, it, then we know. Or shit right. stains because one of his toilets. <laughs> right. Boy, the way you keep pestering me. You'd think you were feeling guilty about something. We've hardly spoke. Are you? You tucked me in. I got a report <laughs> here that someone put a ding on Johnson's tucker. <laughs> as honor as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. I'm nowhere near solving the tucker case, and now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? I suppose you've heard the news about Edna's daughter, Karen, disappearing. Don't even let me get a word in. Yes, and I'm very concerned. I wouldn't think about it too much if I were you. He did it. This is a serious yeah, crime. Helped. And this is no time for civilians to be nosing around playing cops and robbers. But what about civic responsibility? Steve, I'd give this advice to my own son if I had one. Leave this be. This is not the kind of thing you should look into. He definitely did it. He definitely Sow did it. Sow some wild oats, boy. Kick up your heels. Join the lodge. Join the lodge, Steve. And leave Karen to the professionals. Does her kidnapping have something to do with a task, baby? Ooh. Stop on by any time, Steve. Hmm. So we need to steal the barb pole. All the characters are getting more and more suspicious. Yeah. More shady. So we need we need to steal the barb pole. 
But Karen has also gone missing. If he stormed out, maybe he kidnapped her. It's really like buried alive or something. Would she be in the graveyard? Maybe. The fresh graves were there. Maybe it was yeah. pre uh, pre planned. Let's. Uh... No, it's not letting me. Fresh soil and manure. Can I dig? Did I try and dig that one? I wouldn't have said that last time. Okay. Oh, man. Damn it. No, I'm going to be like that one. Right, let's uh, try and see if there's anything fresh over here. Oh. Hang on out. Uh, there's a note on the floor there. Matches. Matches. Not a note. That picnic table wasn't on a. Um... It was there last time. Oh. That oh. wasn't there though. Fresh grave. Right, let's dig oh, that up. Oh, oh. This is where we're going to find a child, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake. It would have surprised me. Oh. Stuff yep. I was right. Um. So we, well, we've stolen a purse. Can we um Don't don't steal a purse, Al. Uh, put it back, please. I can't. It's... Okay. Oh so this is the sort of game so... it's doing it now. Um This wow. has taken a very dark turn. Um I feel a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not telling Edna. Well, who do we go? Do we go to Edna and say we're really sorry we found your daughter's purse, and also your daughter probably should have led with that. And then she could leave the diner, and we could explore more. Yeah. So I don't trust the police officers anymore. Yeah. Because I think if we, I think if we give the purse to the policeman, then he will. Basically, like we he did with when we did the checks, you know, be like, maybe you did it, maybe you killed her, even though we know it was him or the uh, the other guy. Maybe Mister mm. Potsdam. Do we show him? Well, what would he mm. do? Then? What do you reckon? I don't think the sheriff. I think the sheriff will kill us. Was there anything about Edna being Italian? Because if there could be something Italian in the purse, then Mister Rostram would be able to. Maybe translate. Um, oh. I don't know. <laughs> um, you, there's a line of logic there. Um, I think we'll we'll save it just in case, and because she might pull out a gun and go, "You killed her." Um, we just saw a dead girl body. Yeah. Hmm. Not the nicest of games, is it? Started out a lovely harmless satire where we got murdered several yeah. times and but a, a dead kid's too far. Hmm. Um Just Dead Girdle. Dead, dead, dead Girdle. Dead, dead, uh, I was gonna say kid and girl at the same time. Um shallow grave. Oh. Which because if, if Mr. Potsdam did it, that means his toilet was backed up. So in response, right, he called a plumber and went and murdered a child. And it goes back to when I can't his talk now. back the dishes are stacked up and back. Yeah. Oh my god. I can see it in your eyes. Karen's dead, isn't she? Yep. You're lying. You're telling me this just to get the reward. Oh, there's a reward. Wouldn't do, that. do you have any proof then? Yep. Karen's little purse. Oh. Here's your reward money. Please, take it and go. Oh, I don't, I don't want to buy anything now, love. How much has she actually given us? Thinking of money. Huh. It's just a crumpled dollar bill. Well, thanks, love. I, I was just like, like, like 5,000. Maybe a $20 bill. Um, do you want to keep your money up? Do we go and tell the police? We've claimed they're remote money, so obviously we need to buy. Maybe go back to the general store and buy something. Let's. Uh, I don't know. I went to the fire station. I went to the police station. What if we buy a plunger? <laughs> what and help unblock the toilet for the a child murderer? Can we question him about it. Um. See if she's got the nerve. See if she's got the backbone to lie to us. 
trust him. If it isn't my favorite... So, you found that poor little darling after all. Yeah, she fed him her picnic table. cord were torn out of her body. You don't see that every day. You There's might. Something oddly ritualistic about how it was done. Now don't go reading too much into this. Karen was a friendly little girl. Maybe she got too friendly with the wrong person. Going around, kissing everybody, climbing in men's laps without so much as a by your leave. That's just asking for trouble. They've got a word for girls like that. Slut. Was she only like eight or something? She was a child. Bloody. She was eight years old. Of course you're right. Poor little thing. He's a cannibal. He's a bloody cannibal, isn't he? Yeah. So that was. We don't trust him. No, not. I hope the next task is like, oh, by the way, murder the yeah. fat bloke. Um, let's go to the general store. See if they've got anything new in stock. Um. Must pay Mrs. Phelps so we can buy anything. With some tape. Was the tape there before? Yeah, the tape was there. Maybe if I give her some money, she might say, Oh, well, for that much, you can buy this. I put out a gun and shoot the guy. <laughs> oh, take what you need. Oh, sweet. Um, the wrench, definitely the wrench. I can take the wrench. Can't take the coffee. Can't take the soup. I'm gonna take the tape. No spliff. Just the cigarette, I Just think. Just gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, this game got heavy quickly, didn't it? Um, go back to light-hearted murder, it was funny. Yeah. Um, right. So I think that whole kind of side plot was just to get us the money to get the tape. Yeah. So... Do we need the tape and the wrench for? Could could we use the wrench on the pole? Or could we use the wrench on the gas canister in his garage? Which might cause an explosion so people are distracted. Yeah, maybe. Let's... Uh... Mm. Well, that didn't work. No. So we know it's not that. He did say something about being linked to the fire alarm. And I can't see any like red glows like there was with the, um, the yeah, like there's the no security clues. system. Yeah, let's um, let's go back to Mr. Johnson's house. The fact that the sheriff and uh, Potsdam seemed in on it. Let's try Mr. Johnson's. See what he, if he's got. To Hello, see. Steve. How's the husband to be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right, you should be ecstatic. Oh, we already had this conversation uh, with her. You always were a kidder, Steve. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'm a kidder. We've had that whole other conversation with him. Let's just wander into his garage and try and use the wrench on the uh, gas canister. Okay. Nope. Well, that didn't nope. work. Damn it. Nope. Right, so that didn't work. Um, hmm. We've got a wrench. We picked up some tape. What, what have we still got in the inventory? So, we've still got the manhole key. Aspirin. Oh, I can you use the aspirin. Oh. For, your, for your dad, though. Oh, for no, I've, I've just actually used it. I oh, see. So yeah, uh, they must be for like health or something, obviously, because you know the kid was shooting at us at the beginning. Maybe we have, to have fights yeah. later, so I probably should stop eating what we've got. Um, maybe for you, can I combine? Well, that didn't work. Nope, nope. That unburned piece of paper with the bakery on it. Can you give that to the sheriff as evidence? Well, that didn't work. Maybe. Maybe. Um, let's give it a try. Well, it's no, not really evidence, though, is it? Because it's probably where the flies printed. We will try it. Like. 
Can we just talk about the dead girl? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. Maybe he's at the diner, comforting. Ah, the... hold on, there's a missing. That wasn't on the door before. What's that? He was a poster on the door that I'm sure. Oh, that was yeah. That'll before. be the little girl, I think. He won't let me pick oh, it up, which was with exit. Oh, my um, yeah, let's uh, let's go to the diner because I imagine that's where the sheriff will be. Um, although it's weird because if the prog programming's still really terrible, they'll just be having like a normal conversation. Hmm. Um, hmm. No, the sheriff's not here. Right, where maybe maybe he's like in the evidence locker or so, if we talk. To... I can't talk now. No, same same thing. Right, let's. We'll go back school. to the police station, maybe try the evidence slot. Yeah, we try the school again. Um, go back to the police station first. I feel like we should probably check out the hotel or something. Because oh. we don't really seem to be there for a while. Maybe the wasp woman, maybe she... Kiddo. No, 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 we don't have any porn mats oh. for you. We already gave you one. Yeah, um, the page is that sticky, Jesus. <laughs> no, he's not in here. Where is this sheriff? I don't trust him. Is he in there? No, it's locked. Right, sack the sheriff off. Let's, um... What do you reckon? Try the school. Let's try the school. You might be doing like a... Maybe I can get in that bloody door, something. finally, because... For some reason, it's just... Oh, he's back out now. Seeing you here again, one would think you'd never graduate. Yeah, we had that conversation. Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils scratched his priceless tucker. It's I stuff. must say... I was relieved when I learned he had no evidence pointing to one of my kids. If he had, some lucky boy or girl would have been in for some quality time. Say, I heard you found the remains of the Fitzpatrick girl. News travels fast. Is it true? There's final court in the six town? people in the village. Yeah, yeah, true. Shame a Caleb fellow such as yourself had to see such a horrible thing. But eventually... Every man must turn off his Range Rider nightlight and stare wide awake into the darkness. We do still need to get to the wall safe in the TV Butchered studio. Butchered little girls yes. and stains on linen. All a part of growing up. Right. Drop in again, son. No oh, thanks. What after that? Can we go back in? Can we go to the classroom again? And... Talk to her. Stephen, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. That discipline forms the... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we've already spoken about all these. Stop! Right, was that something on the floor? A pencil? No, it's not. I think it is a pencil, but it's not letting me pick it up. Um, yeah, we'll see. There doesn't really be anything around here. But let's, uh, let's leave and... Hmm... <laughs> so we can now try. Now getting a bit. Yeah. Um. We'll try the TV station because we know that the sheriff apparently has to do something against him in the. Uh... And maybe it's something we can give that uh, obnoxious guy on the phone. Yeah. Hmm. We still have the code for the safe though, so. Don't hurry back. Be rude. Right. All right. Oh, oh, shit. No. This is your first arrest, Steve. You just remember, we've got a three strikes, you're out rule here. So what was the Harvest. point of the get out of jail free card? Keep your nose clean. You hear? Thanks. Don't tuck me in. Don't tuck me. Ah, oh, he's tucked us in again, Alex. Man. <laughs> this game. Right, so that didn't work. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in here we can uh, do. Can be in the kitchen. Got a wrench. What can we use a wrench for? We'll Hello, work. dear. By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson, and he's livid. Seems someone scratched up his priceless tucker. If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. I hear those silly firemen broke out the axes and hacked each other to death. Things never were the same between them after the firehouse robbery. 
Oh, well. Maybe now we'll get some real men for the fire department. Though the way things are going, I doubt you'll be around to see it. What do you mean? Can't you feel it? The way the stalks whisper in the autumn wind? It's almost harvest time, Steve, when the chaff will be cast aside before the feasts. So, what's this about some remains you found in the graveyard? I found the body of a little girl. I couldn't say for sure who it was, but I suspect it was Karen. Her skull and spinal cord had been ripped out of her body. The body was covered with dirt. I found it next to a hole, like someone dug her up and then mutilated her. I imagine Edna was upset, poor dear. I just yeah. hope this doesn't mean she's backing out of the bake sale. She's in for three dozen cookies, you know. <laughs> How can these be people? So cold? It is three dozen cookies one allowed. One should allow one's personal tragedies to interfere with one's responsibilities. One should get back on one's feet. That's what sparkling new appliances and fruit baskets are for. Goodbye. Right, let's go and check out the fire station. Uh, yes. Apparently they've hacked each other to death over some missing. I want to see blood everywhere. If dead fireman's okay, but we draw the line at little girls. Yeah. Oh, I can't go in the door. Yeah, damn it. Maybe because they're dead. Oh, yeah. Really each other's. Oh my god. Right. So the fire station looks like it's written off for now. Well, there's no um, fire there. Right. We go back to the cemetery. Maybe the sheriff's gone to hide his evidence because mm. he definitely did it, or he was in on it at least. Oh no, body's still there. Not gonna, uh. No one gonna come clean that up? No. I'm trying to think, because we, we need to set off a fire at this barbershop pole, because it's linked to the fire system. Let's try the wasp lady, because I know how much you love her. Yes! Come on, waspy! Please help us. It's not often that I get visitors. That's, <laughs> that's why. That's why. Right. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything we can really do around here. Maybe she comes into it later. I hope so. You'll let me down enough today. Yeah. And she has been no use. Maybe she's like the, the, the real hero of the game and she comes in and saves you at the she end. Kills of JJ. Um, she kills JJ. She kills a police officer. Let's go to the mortuary. We've not really been to the mortuary, have we? Maybe her body will be there. Yeah, maybe we can say uh, there's a dead body. We go in this side door. Oh, I don't think we've been in here before. No. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. I have the feeling your innards shall soon adorn my slab. And I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. What kind of monster would cut down so young a child? I don't get nearly as much for the smaller coffins. <laughs> oh. You're evil. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Right. Oh, that's my inventory. Right, is there anything you can pick the up? Corpse. Now? Poor soul. Right, what's that glue there? Astro glue. You can't have that, Stephen. I need it for my work. And may I say you're a rude young man for attempting to steal it. I was only going to borrow it. Indeed. And have you anything I could hold as security? Security? Like what? Money? I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need that glue for my work. You must present me with something significant if you'd have me part with it. The autograph. Good shout. How about this autograph? Why should I care about that? Not the autograph. Not the autograph. Um, What's that little... Some tampons. Up? Yes, for, to clog the blood. Why should I... No, you're not a fan of tampons. Um, that would be a good idea. And matches. Know Here, what's this? Matches. What? Oh yes, Mr. Potsdam left that here last Tuesday night, when he drove me to the depths of Ennui with his late night conversation. He had a pocket full of the things and must have forgotten it. Hmm. Young man, we. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. I'd say it. Yeah, yeah, we know you're a miserable get, right? Trade you for some tape? Why should I? Oh, God. Right. 
Um, uh, we go for a pen. Furniture, a burnt flyer. Why should I? Oh god, he was so um, frustrating. We might have to come back. I think there's bloody handprints on the glass. A nasty looking sink. Can't seem to examine the cupboards. What's that? Jars. Organic things floating in formaldehyde in the jars. Sort of things you make you want to look away before you can really see what they are, what your eyes won't oblige. Okay. Bam. Yeah. So we need to get that glue off it. Oh, is that. A, I thought it was a gas canister under there. Uh, blood stains on the floor. bullets on the desk as well. Where are you looking? Um, bottom left. Oh, they do look like bullets, actually. Don't seem to be able to examine them. There's a heart. But obviously, we need the glue. But we need to trade him for something for the glue. Anything in here we can trade him for? Anything in the evidence room? I think we cleaned out the evidence room, although I suppose we could have another look, another look because obviously the, the days, things are changing, aren't they? It's like we found the manhole key, which definitely wasn't there, and then like the picnic I bench think had changed. The more we progress, the more things pop up. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go have another look at the evidence room just in case there's some, something new in there. Because we need to find out where the sheriff is. We need to quiz him and say, like, we know what you did. But maybe he's, maybe that's the point. Maybe he's gone. Oh, it's a, oh, a top hat. Can I, oh, I can't pick up the top hat. Teddy bear? Shaving kit? No. Teddy bear? No. I think all these were here. First time. Adlock? No, I can't pick that up. Hmm. No, Nothing think, in the fridge? Nah, I don't think it'd let me open it, no. Plunger? For the toilet. Yeah. It don't want to let me pick it up. Yeah, I think we've cleared this out. Let's, um... Hmm. Where can we go? Oh, it is we could... Out. We could go back to Mr. Potsdam and say, the, uh, you found your matches. We know it's you did show. it. Yes, yes, very nice. But do you have any meat? Hmm. If it isn't... Do we have to, can we go back and, can we get some more meat? That slip was only for one though, wasn't it? Can we get a new slip? Maybe. Let's go back to the meat plant and see if we can get some more meat. Can we go back and see Dad after this, do you think? Yeah. Don't talk now, Steve. Oh, oh he won't let Thanks, me pal. get into the permission just... slip. Right. Hmm. We can't go in any of them, can we? Nah, it's just the shutters on the other side, so it's... We've done the school, nothing at the TV station. We've not done the missile base no, for a while, but I don't... No, he knows anything. Yeah, we just have to be very careful with him, because he's very volatile. Yes. Let's uh, save it before we upset him again. Just bloody hard. Bloody bl hard. Bloody hard. Right. That's far enough, my fool. Yeah, yeah. Legged. How long are you going to torment me? You have two legs to spare, but no, llamas aren't like that. They don't care. They don't love. Stay away from now on. Stay away. Or so help me next time. I'll rain on everybody's goddamn parade. Right, we're not talking to him again because he'll blow us up. Well, man, I feel kind of sorry for him though. Watch him. He's the one who did it. We need, there must be something at the barber shop, can we not? We can't steal it whilst he's here, so we have to do something to make it night time. Um, Think about taking some of that side. I don't want any of you bloody siding. And then he just tells you to. He's busy. Nice to see yeah, yeah. I can't talk. Yeah, yeah, we know. We can't give him the alien head? Mortician? Nope. Nah. Hmm.
He must have to do something to the fire alarm. Because he said that the fire alarms are rigged up to the security system. And we can't use the wrench on it. No. <clears throat> Maybe when we break him, we can use the wrench to smash the... Smash the door. I don't know. But then if the alarm goes, we might get arrested again. We could try the post office, maybe? Um, can we break into the mailbox? No, oh, they seem hardly used. Sorry, it... son. No time to... Oh, he isn't so... I've noticed the woman's gone. Oh, she, she'd been gone for a few days, I think. Ah. She uh, finally managed to read what was on her letter. Um... Can we go down that manhole? No, it's not coming up as a collectible object. So let's. Right, we've not. What done the hotel? Let's try the hotel. Is there anything around the hotel? Yeah, there could be a new suspicious character who moved in. Yeah. How do you get around this at all? Oh, I can pick up the ledger. That. Maybe I go, I trade you your ledger, but it's glue. He's already there though. Young man, we really have. Yeah, yeah. I'd... Yes, we know. You are a very cheery man. And, and a busy man. Yeah. What does he do if he's in the middle of like an autopsy? And then someone's like ringing the little doorbell, <laughs> the, little, the little bell on the desk. He has to leg it back with like his hands covered in blood. Right. Excuse me. Let's what? see if I can trade him his own ledger for some clue. Oh, you might want this. Why should I? Because it's yours. You absolutely. I was only. Indeed. Secure. I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need that glue for my something significant. Hmm. I thought you were dead on the money with the autograph, but uh, that's what I thought. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. all out of ideas now because I thought if it's from the TV show, yeah, and he's obviously the actor. Hmm. Right. Again, folks, if you're watching this and you uh, you're, you're already... probably going absolutely yeah. mental. Um, I should probably check how long you've already got... finished the game. Yeah, I'll probably check how long we've been recording for. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let me just check what time we're on. Oh, he's going for an hour twenty, so we'll do about another ten fifteen minutes, and then uh, we'll yeah, we'll, see. we'll call it a night if we can just. Kind of, we've, we've made good headway today. We we've, have, but again, it's, it's that wall the, that sort of yeah, we, got the momentum. We scratched the car, we f we flew through the uh, what, day two, day three, we flew through that. So, we've managed to witness, well I say witness, we managed to be a part of firemen killing no. themselves. Why does she do that? God. So basically, I think it means I can't pick anything up in this room because she'll know. Um, maybe I could give a sex what? toy to the mortician. Oh. Well, you can't talk to Dad anymore, so... I've just noticed the dildo on the table. Where are you look? Oh, yeah. There it is. Plain as day. And is that a bad plug on the floor? That's a bad plug on the floor, that. Can't say they're not well equipped. The air conditioner. Can we deactivate the air conditioner with the wrench? Well, that didn't work. No, okay. we cannot. Hey, Steve, it was worth a try, though, pal. Come on. Yeah. Let's, um... Hmm, we don't want to go to the missile base, because he will blow us up if we talk to him again. He's straight from the horse's mouth. Is there anything else at the newspaper building? It feels a bit weird that this would only have one purpose. Hey, up, that's new. Nice. We weren't able to go there. No, it's because I dug it up, but because we picked up the note, which even though the note is still ah. there, it's a bit... The pipes... The plumbing help me. If the plumbing held up, can I dismantle the plumbing? Oh man. <gasps> can I use the wrench on Mr. Potsdam's toilet? Oh, Alex, hang about. Hang about. Let's not jump the gun, because what's going to happen is he's going to look at it and go, like, I can't do that. Whatever he's, like he's... 
He's more nervous now. He wasn't like that before. Yeah, he's just playing with his hands and he don't trust the creep. Um, Bowser are stiff as boards. But what was that? Oh, he's flushed in total, isn't it? Let's. Move, Steve. Move out the way. Well, that didn't work. Get out the bloody way. Right. Oh, man. Nope. Well, on that the, didn't the work. baseboard. It just came up with baseboard then. Is there something I can do to the baseboard? <gasps> Tampons, sock it up, maybe. Can't get it to show it. Oh, oh. Damn it. Right, it's there. Okay. Dried white spots are spattered across the baseboard here. Oh, God. Could be semen, isn't it? Most likely. Um, what about tampons, Al? What about them? Could we block the toilet so he can... Like, we can use it well, as a sort of... Oh, no. Okay. The tampons don't work. <laughs> Let's take Mr. Duck. Oh, the sink. Can we unplumb the sink? Not the baseball, this... Oh, man. Nope. Steve, you are useless, mate. We have another look through the picture. It's definitely getting dressed. Oh, we can't... Oh, she just sat down now. Oh. Just kind of Jesus. sad. Sorry, Steph. Yeah, sorry. Right, let's go say hello. Maybe she can give us some more clues. Um, What's that plaque there? I haven't seen that before. I'll look at that in a minute. Steve. It's so good happy to see, see you again. And the hole in the wall so is gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. Yeah, don't tell her that we about found a, a dead girl and. Come here. <laughs> Stephanie? Oh. I feel so close to you, Steve. Like we're the only two people in Harvest. The only two real people. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You've been shut up for too long. <laughs> no, I think yes, I think. I need to feel something again. This sense I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. Strong feelings. Maybe the body has its own memory. Let's find out. Oh. Go on, Steve. Maybe you're not useless, Steve. Yes. Yeah, I want you too. Then take me. Where are we going? How big is that bed? Wait, Oscar. Oh, Yep, that'll explain the white stains that are splattered across the board. Alex. I have to censor part of this so we can put it on YouTube. Or is it going to be like B movie? So we might be okay. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Picture of Jesus as well. Disgusting. So that progressed the story a lot, didn't it? Um, hey, Steve needed to uh, de stress. They both did. Yeah. Even the dad. Has it passed the time? Is it night time yet? Examine the thing again. Useless. Where's the parents' bedroom? You dirty, dirty oh, bastard. Oh, hi, Steve. This isn't my favourite son in law. Yeah, now I know to, why he's your favourite. Yeah, I've come to Porky Door, mate. Let's see. Uh, are you jealous? Ooh. Oh, we can't get out the back door because of the bushes. Just hire a foam plant. Some cupboards. Hmm. There's nothing. What have we missed in here? Maybe we speak to... You might want to be extra nice to Mr. Potsdam today, Steve. 
He was turned down by the lodge again. I'm surprised he's a fan. Yes, we're having the wedding at Mr. Moynihan's after all. Do you, do you know how we had to do pranks? Yeah. He had to kill someone. I reckon he went beyond pranks and had to kill someone. That's why he was rejected because he didn't be he didn't hide the body well. A very good point. Mm. You could be right there. Right, so we'll give it another five minutes or so, and then we'll call it a night. We'll just see if we can get any further. I'll say we, we've we've had a, a productive episode. I think it's uh, it's been the most bizarre episode. Oh, definitely. But it's uh, I think we've got to get steal the bar pole, and there's one task left, and then we're in the lodge. Yeah. And I don't know if I, I don't think that's the end of the game. I think you have to go through the lodge, um, or and at least the big boss JJ. Yeah. Mega newspaper boy is gonna bat us down. How do we steal the barber pole from the barber shop? Please be nighttime. Just please don't don't be there, guys. See, it must have to be a thing because obviously with um like the fireman, I, I had to pick up the ladder to trigger it to be nighttime. So I must have to maybe pick up something, or something must happen. With straight or straight slot screws, not Phillips. So I must need to find another type of screwdriver. Where could I find another type of screwdriver? Or could you use a wrench to, to get them off? I definitely bought everything I could from the general store, didn't I? Let me just double check. Oh, I don't think she allowed you to go back in again. But, uh, Steve, you're taking a bit of the piss now. <laughs> Uh, I gave you loads of money, so I think the least you can do. Yeah, I definitely can't pick up any of these. I don't know what I'll do with them if even I had them, but. Can we give her an autograph? Do we try giving her the autograph? We did. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You're watching it on telly. I'm not really impressed, do you, love? Yeah. I feel like we've not really used the TV station much. We can't even find it. We, where's, where's the sheriff gone? We don't know where the sheriff's gone. These are all questions that he's gone AWOL him. We can the the view like any viewers who are familiar with this game will be screaming at us right now. Yeah, I think that's that's probably one of the advantages of not doing this live. Yeah, is that one we can figure everything out for ourselves. Two, we can avoid immediate criticism of people going, "You're a pair of idiots." Yeah, um, I mean we are idiots anyway. If oh idiot. god, yeah. Um, hmm. We definitely got all the screw. We got the screwdriver. That was the Phillips, wasn't it? Hmm. And we definitely can't go back to the fire station because apparently they've all murdered each other. There's definitely nothing. No replacement firemen either. No. Have you noticed there's not a hospital in this game? Yeah, because that's a... all expendable. They don't yeah. get ill. Well. The... I think the mortician probably does that on the side as well, doesn't he? He just pushes so, them into an early grave. Jack of all trades, in fair play. Um, let's let's try the TV station again because we've not really dealt with that much. We don't really. Can, does he say anything else? Can't talk now. No. Well, we already asked him about the TV. Happy trip. Um. Backdrop the camera. See, I thought we have to find the sheriff and like accuse him and say, "Look, we know what you've this done." This is what you've done. Is he at the lodge? Mm. Is the sheriff at the lodge? No, he's not at the lodge. Will he say? Exquisite. Said... Yeah, you're welcome. Its loss should trigger quite a bit. It did. Still, yeah. that is not your concern. Yeah, you know you said that. Don't be absurd. Of course you are. This cloth bears witness. To that you've already compromised yeah. yourself. Stop here, and it was all for nothing. But that's for you to decide. Hmm. I am out of thoughts for now. So I think what we'll do, we'll leave it for tonight. Hmm. Let's just save it. Hmm. Um. I think I'll, we'll go, go to the house and save it. The house is always a nice place to start. Um, well, there's no place like home, Al. Bloody frustrating. Um, 
what is it we're trying to do? We're trying to. Um, but we need to get the pole. Barbershop theft. My mind's that fried. I can't even think of something funny yeah. or witty to, to name the save. Um, so let's. I think because we've witnessed a lot. Yeah. I feel like we've genuinely seen like a girl die. Yeah, um, it's taken a bit of a, a, a darker a very, turn beyond even I thought it'd go. A very um, dark turn. And we're, we're probably, I don't know exactly how far, we've done a few, we must be about halfway through the game by now. Yeah. Um, so. I feel, like, I feel like we're in purgatory. Yeah. I don't know what you're sort saying. of weird, like, I feel like I'm there. Yeah, I'm definitely invested. Definitely. Um, and this is probably one of the most unique games I've ever played. But I think for now, so uh, we'll, call, we'll call it a night for now. Yes. And then we'll um, we'll sleep on it. Obviously, we'll we'll mull over some stuff, and maybe with a, a fresh pair of eyes um, tomorrow, we can uh, hopefully solve the mystery of yeah. how do we steal the barbershop pole, which we knew we were going to have to steal because I said it's, it as soon as the this. first time we went. It, it was as if they were winking to it. Yeah, they're like, "You'd no, steal this away. really important <laughs> plot device." Um, so I feel thanks like again. I therapy after this one, though. Oh, definitely. Thanks again for uh, watching. Um, and we're, if you know the answer, mm-hmm. and we're annoying the hell out of you, we apologise. And if uh, you are mentally scarred by anything you've seen, please talk to us, because so are we. Yeah, it's just a game. So sometimes it feels like it. Sometimes it feels like a snuff game. It does a little bit. Yeah, but, uh, I feel. Do- I'm gonna have yeah. a shower. Yeah. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, folks. Goodbye.